Hello everyone, I'm your host, Matt Hardy. Today I'm going to introduce you to AirMax by Ubiquiti Networks, a revolutionary outdoor wireless network platform. In this video, we'll be discussing the AirMax platform, overview specs and capabilities, review a case study, and explain what we're doing to help change the world. First, I'd like to talk a little bit about the AirMax platform and how it provides ISPs and carriers around the world the opportunity to provide high-class internet to customers that otherwise may not have any form of connectivity. Traditionally, when you think of ISPs providing internet to customers, fiber, cable, and DSL come to mind. However, in many cases, running cables is not cost-effective, and in some cases, not possible. This is where AirMax comes in. AirMax can provide similar performance to fiber wirelessly without the need for digging trenches or burying cables. The AirMax platform offers ISPs the flexibility to support multiple applications with the following products. Backhaul. A point-to-point -point link is a connection wirelessly bridging two areas. AirMax supports links up to 200 kilometers. For this application, we provide Rocket and Rocket Dish. AirMax also supports point-to-multipoint networks. This is similar to a point-to-point -point link, but instead you're connecting many different areas to one central location. Point-to-multipoint networks are comprised of two elements. Base stations, or access points, are high-performance devices with support for over 100 client devices at a single time. For this, we recommend the Rocket and Sector Antenna. CPEs, or Customer Premise Equipment, are devices that are installed at a client location and connect wirelessly to the base station. For CPEs, it's important to have a narrow beam width. Otherwise, the device is more susceptible to noise and interference. For this reason, we recommend the NanoBeam CPE with a uniform narrow beam width. There are different antennas available depending on the application. These include omnidirectional, sectors, dish, and Yagi antennas. All completely compatible with the AirMax devices. AirMax products are offered in multiple frequency options, depending on your location, ranging from 900 megahertz to 10 gigahertz. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. AirMax is a revolutionary, purpose-driven protocol designed and developed from the ground up with one goal in mind, to provide the most scalable, highest performing wireless product available. Before AirMax, many operators relied on existing protocols, most commonly 802.11. The 802.11 protocols were designed to provide indoor wireless access to many different types of devices. These protocols were not intended for outdoor wireless, and when separating multiple devices by large distances, the protocol scales very poorly. AirMax was designed to solve the issues and provide the highest performance and scalability, allowing many more devices to be installed over a much wider area. For point-to-multipoint networks, where you have multiple clients connecting to the same access point, 802.11 uses CSMA-CA, or Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Avoidance. The way this works is when a client wants to transmit to the access point, it senses or listens to determine whether the channel is clear or if any other clients are currently transmitting to the access point. If the first client does not sense anything, it will then begin to transmit. This works fine for indoor devices, where multiple client devices are nearby and close enough to sense each other. However, with outdoor wireless, client devices may be separated by a large distance and possibly obstructions. The client devices can no longer sense if one another is transmitting. The client will mistakenly transmit even if other client devices are transmitting, which results in a collision at the access point and leads to poor performance. This is known as the hidden node problem. AirMax solves this by introducing a time-based multiple access method, or TDMA. The AirMax access point knows exactly how many client devices are on the network and intelligently allocates time to each client depending on activity. Since each client has a dedicated time slot, there is no chance of collisions and time on the network is utilized very efficiently. If some clients are more active than others, AirMax will dynamically adjust the time slots given to each client. This allows maximum performance for the active clients, rather than wasting available time on the clients that don't need it. Now I'd like to show before and after performance comparisons of a network with and without AirMax. In this test, we'll simulate an outdoor point-to-multipoint network with seven clients. First, I'll run a test without AirMax enabled. Here you can see the performance isn't very good. Less than 30 megabits per second total throughput capacity and latency spiking in the triple digit millisecond times and higher, or even dropping completely. And here's what this would look like to a customer.
Now, I'll enable Air Max, and let's see what the performance looks like. Just by enabling Air Max, throughput capacity is now well over 100 megabits per second, currently averaging around 125 megabits per second, with latency remaining stable in the single or double digit millisecond times. Here's what the customer would see. This performance is very scalable and it remains high even as your network grows to many client devices. Now that you have seen a before and after comparison of what Air Max can do, let's see how one specific company utilized Air Max to grow their business. Sling Broadband is one of the nation's largest internet service providers, consistently ranked as one of the top 10 networks in North America. They provide service to over 30 major markets and interconnect with over 2,200 other networks. Their innovative network reaches across North America with inner city connections spanning over 25,000 miles and more than 9,000 miles of metropolitan area internet coverage. During the Audi Centennial Celebration in Miami, Florida, Sling Broadband mitigated line of sight obstructions with a creative solution. They relayed wireless data off of a local hotel to deliver internet service on Miami Beach. Ubiquiti gave the range and throughput that previous equipment did not allow Sling Broadband was looking for a solution that not only had a disruptive price point, but also offered the robust architecture that could withstand harsh climate and weather conditions present in Florida. They chose Ubiquity Networks for the best combination of disruptive pricing, durability, performance, reliability, and platform flexibility. As you can see, AirMax has a lot to offer and can be used in many different ways. For more product information and technical support, visit our website. If you want to connect with other experts that are using AirMax in their networks, visit our community online. Stay tuned for future updates and announcements. I'm Matt Hardy, and on behalf of everyone at Ubiquity Networks, thanks for watching.